Welcome back to another video everyone. So it's the end of the month, well to start of the month actually, I am a little bit late, but that means it's time to look back and review the memes that happened in April. I had some decent memes this month, I remember laughing a couple times. Looking back on the previous two videos, I think it's safe to say that it's definitely a, a better month for memes at least. So I think we should just get straight into it. Also, remember that video I made last year when I said that this was the greatest mug ever? Yeah, I just, it's still the greatest mug ever. Just wanted to say that. Anyway, first on the list, we have the video of the dancing coffin guys. It's basically a video of, well, these guys dancing with a coffin and the meme uses different clips from like fail compilations, clips of things going horribly wrong. Some of them actually make me wonder if the person survived it or not. The video is backed up by an iconic song. You can't use any other song on these memes or it won't work. I won't be able to use it in the video because it gets detected by YouTube. I already checked. But again, you've all seen these videos. You know what I'm talking about. Usually the videos are cut just before you can actually see what happens in the video. Like those uh, to be continued videos. Yeah, funny meme this one. Another meme from this month was Kim Jong-un nearly dying. There was a bunch of articles claiming that he was in a vegetative state after a failed heart surgery. Nothing was confirmed or anything. It just sort of, the news just blew up a few days ago. Haven't really heard much about it since, so I don't know what's going on. But when the news of his near-death experience started to go around, people were making memes about it. Memes about the surgeons who messed up his heart surgery. Memes about him waking up in hell. Of course, there had to be crossovers with the dancing funeral guys too. Ooh, four friend requests. I wonder who they could be. But it wasn't just about him though. There were also memes about his sister. I didn't even know he had a sister until this whole thing happened. Since he was near death, of course, there would have to be a new supreme leader. And that's where his sister Kim Yo Jong comes in. She could be the potential successor. All the memes about her were like fan arts in the style of anime and people just pointing out that she's cute. I don't know. I think she looks scarier than Kim Jong-un. Maybe it's the deadpan facial expression she has in all of these pictures the articles are using. I don't think I've ever seen a picture of her smiling. That might make a difference. Okay, it does make a big difference, but still. She's a North Korean politician. I don't think if she suddenly took over, things would be much better than they are right now. So I'm not, I'm not standing Kim Yo Jong. Another meme from April was the Yankee with no brim. Whoa, Yankee with no brim. Brim. It's a video of a guy who gets hyped up when he sees the legendary Yankee with no brim. There were tons of different edits made from this, like changing the audio to say different variations of it. Whoa! Yankee with brim! Hold on, let me- Whoa! No! Yankee with no brim! The Barnacle Boy meme from last month, I think, also made a return. It fits way too well with this. Some of them were putting the audio over, like, different scenes from shows like Spongebob. Whoa! Yankee with no brim! Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, there's not much else to say about it, really. It's just a Yankee with no brim. The next one is quite recent. It's the green vs. purple gang war that's going on on GTA. Literally just clips of two gangs in GTA Online assaulting each other in various different ways. I haven't played GTA in so long, but seeing these clips makes me feel like getting it again. It reminds me of how fun it was. I think a lot has changed about the game since I last played it though. The last time I played it was on the Xbox 360 back in like 2014. And that makes me realize just how old this game is yet how like they're still adding things to it. It's still raking in a shit ton of money as well. I'm getting off topic but yeah that's all the meme is. Just videos of two GTA gangs jumping each other. If I had to pick one I'd go with green alien gang. I'm sorry, I just think the outfit looks better. Next meme on the list is the queen on a billboard. The BBC London Twitter account posted a photo of it. The original message was, we will be with our friends again. We will be with our families again. We will meet again. It was only a matter of time before it got memeified. The kingdom will be reorganized into the first galactic empire. You need to start thinking about the world you're going to leave for me. You know, because the queen's immortal. Me, I think the worst is behind us. May 2020. Very simple meme template, but I liked this one. I also saw a few memes about the Pentagon releasing the three UFO videos. I don't know, this didn't blow up as much as I thought it would, to be honest. It's almost like barely anyone cares, uh, but then again, it's not like they're confirming aliens or anything, just unidentified flying objects, which is still interesting, but of course they were all about aliens anyway, because, well, that's what people think of when they hear UFO. I don't know, it was all right, but I'd say my favorite one was probably the Joe Rogan one. I'm waiting on this podcast. Hopefully it happens at some point during my lifetime, but that is it. That is all that's on my list. I'm pretty sure they were all the memes that happened in April. Um, there weren't that many, but at least they were actually decent. Again, let me know down below if I missed any. I'll update the pinned comment or the description of the video with the ones that I missed. My favorite from this month will probably have to be the funeral dancing guys or the GTA videos because some of them cracked me up. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Definitely subscribe if you're new here and I will see you all in my next video.